Uh, hello, Carlos. I'm Shane. It's lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, Shane. You know what? I want to say thank you uh, for casting Tanya. Uh, she was amazing as Porcupine, and I've loved her and admired her work for a long time. She is one of my favorites. She was the best. We, we had dinner almost every day because she's such a lovely person. Not only a great character, but a lovely person, a lovely human being. Uh, it's such a ride of a lifetime, your movie, Harold and the Purple Crown. How did you keep everyone upbeat and high-spirited on set? You know, it's the magic of cinema. You have to say all right action and they all have to be happy for like uh, you know for a limited amount of time then after that you can cry you can do you can fight you can do whatever you want but do, as the camera is rolling you have to keep it going and then you know it was it's always the challenge you know it's like you know it's a long shoot how to you know the weather you know as long as you don't see that on camera like i think that's the magic of cinema you know so we we, yeah. I, we worked hard. It was a hard working movie, but it was fun. Especially having people like so special, like like Tanya, like Jermaine, Jermaine Clement. It's like uh, you know he worked on you know he was the villain. He was the cockatoo on my Rio movies. Like I yeah. love him so much, and I, I I he came to New Zealand to make the movie with me. So those moments make you appreciate you know what you're doing. When you first saw the Crockett Johnson book, did you have the cast in mind to begin with, or did was that a process of elimination? No, I didn't have the cast in mind right away. It was funny because I read the book a long time ago when my kids were little. I read the book and I loved the story because the story is about imagination, drawing your your you know drawing the solutions of your your problems, create your world. And I ended up doing that with animation, you know. So I was like, "Oh, this, this is I love this." So when I came into the project, actually, uh, Zach was already cast for for Harold, and the right. producer of Harold was one of my producers in in on Ferdinand, the the bull, the, the project that I did, my last yeah. animated Ferdinand, project. Yeah. But then after that, I immediately when I read the script, I said, "Like, I have to have Jermaine as the villain." You know, I have to bring him because he would be perfect for Gary. You know, he is the perfect, like, odd librarian. He needs to be that character, you know. And I was in love with Tanya, too. Like, those two were, like, right away on top of my mind. And the others, was, I was formulating the idea. I love working with Zoe. She was great. You know, yeah. Little Ralph came as a good counter to Zach. You know, and the kid, Ben, he was incredible. He was, like, a first big movie that he did. And I saw I saw many okay. tapes of many actors and all. And when he came up, you know, when he came on, I was like, "Wow, this kid is good." You know, he was what I need. <laughs> and if you're going to have Zoe yeah, Deschanel in your movie, you've got to have her playing music, right? Music. That was great. That piano scene. Yeah, it, it's fun, and she plays. Like, she plays well, and she's very musical, of course, like Zoe. It was fun. I wish I had a musical version of the movie so she could play, she could sing. Zach can sing as well. He's an amazing singer. So that would be a fun version of it. I think Tanya can sing as well. Well, if she can't, well, next time. <laughs> oh, that would be all. And Jermaine can sing too. I, I, yeah, okay, we have a musical. Boom. That's it. Boom. <laughs> let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what would you draw with your own purple crayon? Is that something uh, you thought about or did you translate that into the movie? What you like to draw? I think I translated that more into the movie, but if I do, it did have that superpower, I would follow the message of the story, you know, just to find something really fun, cool, but at the same time, that would change people's life, you know. <laughs> you know, we live in a world where there, there's not a lot of crayons out there for you to solve some of the big <laughs> problems, so I wish I had one. <laughs> Uh, what do you want people to get out of your movie? You know, it's not a sequel, it's not a prequel or any remake. What What do you want people and families to get when they go and see your movie at the cinema? I think to embrace the message of like, uh, of like, never underestimate your creativity, never underestimate your inner child. I think that that's what draw me to the story is the fact that if you imagine it could become real in many, in many metaphors that we can put together. But I think at the end, that's how I decided to take my, my, my life story, like, you know, with the movies that I create, like with, uh, with uh, how I, I see life, you know, it's, just, it's, it's very easy to forget that because you're bombarded every day. 
with everything yeah. that makes yeah. you want to, you know, that pushes you to forget, but actually it's important, especially in today, in, the, in these days, like to keep your imagination alive. Sure. And finally, uh, you've come a long way since Ice Age. Uh, how has animation changed or has it changed over all those years, 20 years? Well, I think animation, uh, you know, evolved in many levels. You know, I think, uh, I think animation, even though maybe technology evolved, the technology became, you know, different and more, more uh, how to say, more sophisticated in many levels. But yeah. I still feel that what continues the, le the legacy of, uh, of animation or the, the, what sustain animation still is the stories, you know, the stories and the characters you create. And that's going to be the challenge for the for the present, for the future of animation. It's like the technology will continue to evolve. I don't know what's going to happen. AI, I don't know whatever would happen in the future. But at the end of the day, the stories will be the ones that the, the characters that you create and the stories that you tell will be what will hold them together. Well, thank you. Uh, Harold and the Purple Crayon is a beautiful movie. I enjoyed it. And you worked with Robin Williams in Robots. That's an achievement yes. as well. Well done on that. Uh, Robin must have been fantastic. He was fantastic. He was like a, a, a special person, I would have to say, a genius. I have to say a genius, you know. Well, I'll see you in Australia, Carlos. We'll go surfing, maybe. I hope so. I've been dying to go back. <laughs> thank you.